we have so many beautiful metallic colors from rose gold to silver to this beautiful glossy gold. I'm gonna show you how to use metallics, how to get a super smooth finish, and a couple of tips for getting the best coverage. When working with metallics, you have to keep in mind it's a very sheer paint. So you'll have beautiful mica pigments that are gonna shine so brilliantly, but your coverage is gonna be not the best. So I've got a couple tips for you. When you're painting with a metallic, you're gonna to wanna to choose a base color that's similar to your metallic color. On all the sides of the containers, the metallics, there is typically a recommendation for which color you can go for. So for example, here, I threw on a coat of Little Star for the gold. You can also use buttermilk cream, prairie sunset, mustard, anything in that sort of yellow tone or range. Similarly, if you were gonna use silver, you'd wanna go with a gray, so like a little lamb or a sterling, anything to just kinda of help and give a nice similar base coat, you're gonna have much better coverage. Also, we're gonna use this continuous spray bottle to really help to keep the surface wet so you have more time to smooth it out. All right, so with the metallics, you're gonna to want to get a nice quality brush. This is our Stalmeister. And you can already see it's quite sheer. So thank goodness for that great sort of yellow base coat that really helps. And you're probably looking at two to three coats for full, full, full coverage with the metallics. Now, if you find you're struggling with texture, you may want to just add a little bit of this mister just to keep the open time with the paint. I think what happens with a lot of people use the metallics is they expect to see full coverage within that first coat and then they end up putting on even more paint. So let me show you, for example. I'm gonna grab quite a bit of paint here and I'm just gonna show you. Look at that. That looks like pretty much full one coat coverage, but we don't want to do that because then we're probably gonna end up with some lines and some texture. So I'm actually gonna use the rest of that over here and wipe back. You wanna go end to end for nice consistency. And remember what I said, you can use this little mister here. So this is a continuous spray mister. One spray, and it's gonna add a little bit of water to your surface to give you more working time to really smooth out that finish. Now I do see a lot of wood grain in this piece here, which may look like brush strokes, but it is just wood grain. And of course, with more coats, you're gonna have a really nice, beautiful, solid finish. This first coat looks so good. It's got a high gloss sheen to it. I can definitely see the wood grain in this, so that may look like it's lines and streaks, but it's definitely just the pattern of the wood. It is so beautiful. That continuous mister really helps to smooth things out. So I'm gonna start my second coat here and end to end look at the coverage already that you're seeing just with that second coat looking so beautiful you can really start to see the true gold color because you could see that sort of little star color popping through which is a little more vibrant that's why you can totally change whatever base color you want if you want to be more subdued go with a buttermilk cream something that's just a little bit on that yellow creamy tone if you don't want it to be too too bright and vibrant Eventually you will get total full solid coverage just using the metallic alone as it is. But if you don't want to use as many coats, then using that base layer is super helpful. And don't forget, if you feel it's getting a little bit dry or you're getting any texture, then just one little mist and you've got more workability with it to make it super, super smooth. This is going to be a shelving unit in my office. I can't wait to put this up there. I love this new gold color. Super stunning, really beautiful. And it's glossy, high, high gloss. Our silver as well is a super high gloss like this. And then all of our other metallics are just a beautiful shimmer of mica, a little bit more subdued in terms of the gloss look. But you can always add our matte tough coat gloss as well if you wanted to increase the sheen of those. 
There we go. I love it. It looks great. I think I'm going to stop at two coats. It's looking really fabulous. And in terms of extra protection, you don't need to add anything more to it. The metallics are incredibly durable on their own. They're just like the Fusion Mineral Paint, just with different pigments in them. It looks awesome. So yeah, feel free to put this onto hardware, onto furniture, pretty much anything you have you want to paint, go for it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. For more inspiration, definitely check out our Instagram page. Lots of beautiful images there. And be sure to subscribe for more tutorials just like this on our YouTube channel right here.